Hi friends, it's Miss Cassie from the Orange Beach Public Library here for another Stay in Storytime. Now we start every story time with this song. We say hello in sign American Sign Language like this. Hello. Can you do that with me? Hello. Very good. And then we say friends. We have one friend here, another friend here, and they give each other a hug. So the song goes like this. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good. And then we sing our roly poly song. We put our hands and fists like this. We're going to go around in a circle. The song's about opposites. You ready? Roly poly, roly poly. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Roly, roly poly. Roly, roly poly. Down, down, down 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 very good because the opposite of up is down that's right let's do another one roly poly roly poly out 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 roly roly poly roly roly poly in 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 very good because the opposite of out is in that's right let's do another one Roly poly, roly poly, fast, 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 fast. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly, slow, 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 slow. Very good, because the opposite of fast is whoo, slow. That's right. Very good. All right, I have some great stories to read today. The first one that we're gonna read is called Lion Lessons and it's by John A.G. We have a lot of really great John A.G. books. This one is about learning how to be a lion. Lion Lessons. Let's see what all happens. It's not easy getting your lion diploma. I know, I took lessons. What is he dressing up as? Can you tell? I think it's a lion. My teacher was a pro. There are seven steps to becoming a lion, he said. But first, we must stretch. What kind of animal is the, is the teacher? Looks like it's a lion. It's a great way to learn how to be one. Just learn from him. We did the upward lion. The downward lion, the upside down lion, the rolling lion, the flying lion, and we shook our manes. Can you shake your mane? I have a lot of hair like a lion. I can shake it, shake it, shake it. Can you shake it, shake it, shake it? And then it all gets in my face. Whew, all right. Step one was looking fierce. Watch me, said the lion. You bare your claws, gnash your teeth, and show your fangs. I tried out my three most frightening poses. The lion wasn't impressed. Can you be like a lion? Good job. Step two was roaring. It's simple, said the lion. Take a deep breath and roar as loud as you can into the microphone. I took a deep breath and roared as loud as I could. Needs work, said the lion. Not quite loud enough. Step three was choosing what to eat. The lion showed me the menu. It's got free range muskrat, wombats, organic iguana, grass fed new, all you can eat antelope, sloth. Are there any specials, I asked, you know, like, Spaghetti? The lion growled. We don't eat spaghetti. Step four was prowling around. We crept through the woods trying to be invisible. We hid in the bushes. I can see your tail, said the lion. We hid behind trees. Your tail, said the lion. I can still see it. Can you see them hiding? Step five was sprinting. Do you see that tree, said the lion. I looked around. You mean the little one here? 
No, said the lion, the big one on that far away hill. I'll meet you there in five minutes. It took me an hour. You need to hit the gym, said the lion. Step six was pouncing. It's simple, said the lion. You get a running start and then you jump on that lady. But I'll scare her to death. Uh, that's the idea, said the lion. So I got a running start. And I pounced. What a cute little kitty cat, said the lady. Are you lost? Meow, I said. The lion checked my scores. This is not very promising. Step seven was looking out for your friends. Right away, I spotted a kitten. Friend or foe, said the lion. That's easy, I said. Friend. What about that dog? I let out a ferocious roar. I bared my claws. I gnashed my teeth. I pawed the ground. I shook my mane. And then... I sprinted across the field as fast as I could and pounced exactly like a, well, you know, a lion. Bravo, said the lion. Do you know what bravo means? It means like, good job. Bravo, bravo. And that's how I got my diploma. I'm very proud of it. But now the neighborhood cats won't leave me alone. The end. Isn't that a good one? So silly. So easy to become a lion. Thank you to Dial Books for letting us read this one today. All right, I have a surprise today. I have a new song cube. I have a new one. It has some songs that we already know, like that one, Zoom, 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 and that one, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, and that one, It's a Bitsy Spider. Then it also has some other ones, like this one. What do you think this one is? Can you tell? It's five little monkeys jumping on the bed. The bed kind of looks like cheese to me, but it's a bed. And then... We have this one, which is a song called Bringing Home a Baby Bumblebee. That one's a fun one. And then we have this one. This one is Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Now that one, you have to just trust that I'm touching my knees and toes because it can't really stand up and not knock over a bunch of stuff around here because we've got it all set up. But you at home, you can. You can do your head, shoulders, knees, and toes really well. So let's roll this, see what it lands on, and see some new songs. Isn't it so nice and pretty? I did it yesterday. Oh, this is what it landed on. Five little monkeys. So we got my five monkeys right here. You ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Just one. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Zero. They all fell off. Let's roll again. Oh, look what we got. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? You can see at least the top part of me. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. 
Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now, I like to see if I can go faster when I do this song. Do you want to try and go fast? All righty, ready? Let's get ready. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, whew, good job. Y'all are so fast. All right, let's roll one more time and see what we can get. We got Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job. All right, I have another story to read. This one is called Red House Tree House Little Bitty Brown Mouse and it's by Jane Godwin and illustrated by Blanca Gomez. So this one I need your help with a little bit and I'll make sure to get close. Red House, Blue House, Green House, Tree House. Do you see the tree house? It's right there. See the tiny mouse in her little brown house? Do you see the mouse? It's right there. Blue flower, pink flower, purple flower, red. Can you count the petals in the garden bed? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22! 22 petals. Wow. Can you find the little mouse in this picture? There he is. He's in the purple one. White rabbit, gray rabbit, black rabbit, brown. Floppy rabbit ears going up and down. How many rabbits are in that? One, two, three, four. Can we find the brown mouse in this picture? Is he in, is he in this picture? Can you find him? Oh, I found him. There he is. <clears throat> Yellow fruit, pink fruit, orange fruit, green. Do you know the color of the berries in between? What color are the berries? Purple. Can you see the mouse? He's in the plant. Pink shoes, blue shoes, green shoes, red. Shoes goes on your feet. What goes on your head? What do you put on your head? put hats on your head. Well, you can put lots of stuff on your head, but hats are what you put on your head. Do you see the little mouse? I see him. He's in the coat pocket. Right here. There he is. Purple fish, orange fish, rainbow tail, tiny darting silver fish, one gigantic whale. Look at that big whale. Do you see the mouse? Right there on the bottom. My scuba suit. Ice cream that's smooth and ice cream that's spotted. Would you like the white one or the one that's dotted? Which one do you like? Do you like a little sprinkles or do you like it plain? I don't know, I kind of like both. Can you find the mouse? Yep, right there. Mouse wants sprinkles. Red boat, yellow boat, green boat, pink. Uh-oh, don't let that boat sink. Which one's sinking? The pink one. Do you see the mouse? 
Right there, he's jumping. Orange bird, green bird, gray bird's feather. Watch the birds now all flying together. Do you see the mouse? I see him right there in the chimney. Purple bike, red bike, scooter zooming past. Ding, ding, beep, beep, wee, that's fast. That looks like fun. Green train, red train, speeding silver train. See the train sparkle in the sun and in the rain? Those are awesome trains. Do you find them? Can you find the mouse? It's in a red train. Right there. Brown dog, red dog, dog with a spot. Dogs that are friendly and dogs that are not. Not all dogs are friendly. That's why you have to ask before you pet one. You see? Find the mouse right there next to the giraffe. One, two, three balloons gently floating by, drifting in the breeze and up into the sky. Mouse is hiding on this one. Do you see him? I found him. Can you see him? Right there. Yellow sun, silver rain, clouds white and gray. See the rainbow colors on a sunny, rainy day. You see all the colors? It's a pretty rainbow. Do you see the mouse? in a helicopter. Colors on a sunny street. What's your favorite house? Is it red or blue or green? Which one's your favorite? I think I like this one. I think this one looks cool. And did you spot that mouse? Oh, we didn't look in the last page. Where's the mouse on this page? He's on the swing. And then we see the mouse, nice and big. Right there. The end. I love that story. That one's fun, isn't it? Lots of fun things to see. Thank you to Dial Books for Young Readers letting us read this one today. All right, I have my barn here. And we're going to sing a song about our barn because our barn belongs to this guy. Do you know who this guy is? What his name is? It's Old McDonald. So the song goes like this. I bet you know it. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, what does he have? Let me look in the barn. A sheep. So on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba ba here and a ba ba there, here a ba there, ba everywhere, ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, what else? A dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a woof woof here and a woof woof there. Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, what else do I have in here? Oh, pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there. Here an oink, there an oink everywhere. Oink, oink, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a 
horse. E-I-E-I-O. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there. Here a nay, there a nay everywhere. Nay nay, old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. So what did old MacDonald have? He had a horse. Put back in the barn. And a dog. And a pig. And a cow. And a sheep. Here he is. Here's old McDonald. Good job. That's always fun to have little props, isn't it? All right, let's sing another song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your eyebrows. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your eyebrows. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your eyebrows. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for coming today. Um, just a reminder, we still have a few bags of our um, take and go, uh, grab and go activity bags this week. It's all about plants and gardening, and there's some cool seeds in there and a cool um, pinwheel project and some other great stuff. Next week, our theme is Mexico, so there's a few Mexican um, traditional crafts and some recipes and some recommendations about books on Mexico or set in Mexico, um, and it is going to be really great. I'm really excited about this one. Oh, I'm excited about all of them, but really excited about next week. So you'll have a great uh, weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.